the brine fluid from outside the building circulates through the evaporator. In the evaporator, the brine heats up a cold liquid refrigerant that then starts to boil and turns into gas form. The now gaseous refrigerant is sucked into the compressor. This compresses the gas, causing both the pressure of the gas and its temperature to rise sharply. The hot refrigerant gas continues into the condenser. Here, heat is transferred from the gas to the water coming from the heating system's return line. The water is heated and can be returned to the building's heating system or used to provide hot water. When the heat is transferred from the gaseous refrigerant, it condenses and becomes liquid again. The refrigerant liquid now passes a filter dryer and an expansion valve, where its pressure and temperature decreases to its original level. The now cold liquid refrigerant can once again absorb heat from the brine fluid circulating in the evaporator. And so the process proceeds in an endless cycle.